everybody. Welcome to Rachel's Room, where every Thursday I answer your questions. I'm wearing a hat because I didn't wash my hair today because I ran out of shampoo and I just don't know how to hat anymore. There, that looks great, right? We'll do that. Oh, I found myself a cheerleader. I hate that song. And it's all they play on the radio. Since you watch Arrow, do you watch The Flash too? I hate The Flash. I watch the show Arrow. A lot of you guys don't know what it is. It's a TV show about a dude who is a vigilante and shoots people with arrows. Arrow, huh? There is this show that it combines with sometimes called The Flash, who is another superhero, but I don't like that show. I just don't think they picked the right actors for it. And also I don't like that it's like meta people, which is like they have superpowers, but when they try and mix it with the Arrow, that's what makes me angry. I think if The Flash was its own thing, I would like it. But the thing about the arrow is that it's real people and then all of a sudden you add the Flash who has these superhero powers and it doesn't work. It does not work. Anyway, that's me. Okay, bye. Why is it called a building if it's already built? Because in it you are building companies and futures for life. I have no clue. English doesn't make sense. Have you noticed that English doesn't make any sense? Like whatsoever. Like a driveway, you don't drive in it. You park in it. Think about things, people, or don't. If you don't think, it won't make your brain hurt. On a scale of one to 10, how good are you at singing? I'll let my past singing sing for itself. Oh, I found myself a cheerleader. You should get a Snapchat. It's Miss R Baller. I have one. Follow me. If you don't follow me, what are you? Not my mom? My mom follows me. That was a joke. It was a really bad one. I'm sorry. Next question. Ask Siri what's up. Say it a few times. She usually says different things. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with asking Siri things lately, but she's just about bundle of fun. I hate her, but she's fun. Hey Siri, what's up? I'm just practicing headstands with Apple Watch. It's even harder when you don't have a head. Who comes up with these things? What in the world? With Apple Watch, way to promote Apple, way to promote your Apple Watch with Siri. I mean, that's the way to do it, people. What's up, Siri? Just doing a little traveling at the speed of light. It's fun, although time gets a bit sluggish in the outer galaxies. Who comes up with these things? What's up? I'm enjoying my debut on Apple Watch. I dig the vibes in there. So Siri is just hanging out with the Apple Watch, basically doing weird things. That's what she's doing right now. Thanks, Siri. If Cinderella's shoe fit perfectly, why did it fall off? Have you ever tried running down a flight of stairs in heels? She's lucky the only thing that happened to her was that her shoe fell off. Like, girl, if you if I tried to run down a flight of stairs in high heels that I have never worn before, I would have broken a bone. I just would have gone flying down those stairs. I would have lost everything. It would not have been pretty. So the fact that all she did was lose a shoe, she's a lady. Shoe, I'd like to see you do better. Did you help write self-help? Uh, Colleen's book, Self-Help by Miranda Sings, written by Colleen Ballinger and Christopher Ballinger. It was a handwritten book, all done by Christopher and Colleen but it was all like scrapbook stuff. So I did not write the book at all. That was all Colleen and Christopher. But Colleen would have like scrapbooking parties where people would come over and would just look at the white page that they wanted the page to look like. And then we got out scrapping stuff and we made the pages. Colleen and Christopher did most of them, but there were nights like Mamrie Hart did a couple pages. I did a couple pages. I think mine was on a um, babysitting. I like going through and seeing who, if I can tell who made what page. If it was like Christopher, Colleen or other. But if you guys if you haven't got the book, you need to get the book. It's an amazing book. Oh yeah, these are the pages I did. I wrote this page, the babysitter, and I wrote this page. I did those connecting things. This was my page. I did those two pages. Oh yeah, and I am also this in the book. Page two, that's me. That's me as a baby. My parents washing me in the sink. That is me. So I've done some nude modeling. I have I said that on Instagram a while ago, but I just wanted to say it in a video. There is a naked picture of me in a New York Times best-selling book. Just a naked picture of me. Did I give my consent? No because I didn't own the picture. My parents owned the picture and they gave my sister consent. I didn't even know about it until the book was freaking published. I didn't know that this was in there. So I'm not mad at all. I think it's actually quite hilarious, but I did some naked modeling. That's about the end of it. At least you can't see my cooter, but you can see the nipple. Free the nipple. Hashtag Miley Cyrus. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm filming a video. When you go to a public bathroom, do you pull down your pants and then put down the seat cover or put the cover on then pull down your pants? So which one do I do first? The cover or the pants? I do the cover first and then I I do a really quick ninja pull down my pants and try to sit on the toilet seat cover before it falls in the toilet. I feel very uncomfortable pulling down my pants and then standing there naked butted while I'm trying to fiddle with the toilet seat cover. But I understand that doing that is probably more logical because you have about 
three seconds before that toilet seat cover falls in the toilet because it's terribly made. I don't know why they have the thing where you have to take it out and then that lands in the toilet. Like, just have a circle because when that thing goes in the toilet, it touches the water, it becomes heavier and sinks the whole toilet paper cover down with it. So you have like three seconds, you have to put it down and twist and sit. It stresses me out every time. It's like I'm racing a toilet seat cover. It is ridiculous, but I seat cover then pants when I should do it the other way around, whatever. Comment below, which one do you do? I just feel weird standing there with my pants around my ankles while I'm trying to fiddle with this plastic thing that's gonna rip anyway. <sighs> That was intense for me. All right, last question. What's your opinion on fish? To eat them, I love them. To snorkel, I love seeing them. To own them, I hate it. That's the end. Now you can't do anything with them. They're stupid pet. They're not a pet. You can't pet it. I've made this argument before and I've won it. We, arguing with the camera, I won the argument. <laughs> anyway, that's all the questions we have for today. Please comment below and leave your questions for next week so I may answer them on next week's Rachel's Room. Also, make sure to check out my vlog channel because I am vlogging every day while I'm on tour on the Miranda Sings camp bus tour extravaganza thing. And I've been on the road for I don't know how, when this video is being posted. I'm just filming things. I don't, my life. Anyway, check that out if you wanna see life up to date. There's fuzz everywhere. I love you guys. Please like this video. Subscribe to see videos on the channel every Tuesday and Thursday. And remember guys, above all else, stay awesome possums.